We want to talk about today why I left Towson University. Hey, make sure you subscribe and like the video. We're going to start all the way from the beginning. You feel me? And mind you, this is from a lens of not like, you feel me, hate. You feel me? Because I'm past that point. You feel me? I done already forgave everybody. I done prayed about everything. You feel me? Everybody's forgiven. You feel me? And I'm on a new path type shit. But it's like, I gotta say something. I gotta get this shit out my chest because a lot of people want to know. You feel me? So we're going to start all the way from the beginning. Mind you, this is more of a, this is more of a story time for the youngins. You feel me? Who coming up playing football and y'all don't know which school to pick. Make sure you really do your research, you feel me, and pick the right school. Look at the system. Look at what the what the school has produced in your position. You feel me? If they got anybody in the league at your position, look at the coaches, their background. Like really do your research. We're gonna start at the beginning. So look, I'm a I'm a fresh I'm coming in as a freshman, right? I get there, you feel me? They done sold me. Like I swear, like boy, they done, they done, they done sold Sold me. They got me. I had this little knee problem that I was dealing with. So it was a torn meniscus, you feel me? Not not too crazy. Not nothing too crazy, you feel me? Just a little torn meniscus. So I had insurance, I guess, but I ain't have good insurance. You feel me? So the, the insurance covered the surgery, but it ain't covered my physical therapy. I'm like, damn. And meniscus is all like, it's, it's meniscus is weird because you can really like play a whole year on a torn meniscus, bro, and you, you be moving like you're straight. Until you like make that wrong cut, it tweak, and then you feel me, it'd be it be hurting. This is the crazy part. Yeah, make a wrong move, tweak it, oh yeah, mess up for like a couple weeks, and then you'll be right back to normal. I tell them, like, yeah, I got this little problem for real with my meniscus or whatever. I'ma need that like look that like I'm telling this from jump street. It ain't like no surprise. Like I'm telling them from the jump. And they're like, oh, you good. I'm like, the only reason why I ain't get it, it's fixed. But the reason why I didn't get it all the way fixed is because I never had PT on it. Like, and from what they were saying, they were trying to get me to come in and play. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm like, all right, if they want me to play, like I'm trying to really, I got to get this straight. Boom. Get in there. They're like, yeah, we're going to take care. Like, bro, you ain't got, bro, we are, you feel me? You ain't got nothing to worry about, bro. You ain't got nothing to worry about. So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm in great hands. I get up there. Move our stuff in the dorms. We we all we gotta go get physicals at the uh, trainer. They don't let you get physicals with your doctor. You gotta get them at the school. You feel me? Just just school policy type shit. You feel me? Just, just school policy. So we gotta get them at the school. We get the physicals at the school. You feel me? I tell the doctor like, yeah. He was like, you got any problems? You know about? I'm like, yeah. I told coach, got a little problem with my knee. You feel me? He like, oh yeah, oh yeah. We gonna get you straight. Nigga start doing an exam. Like, it's not even an exam, but like he started like testing it. Tell me to do one of these. Boom. Bro, I swear. I... Look, this is exactly what he did. Oh, yeah, you're good. It's fixed. I'm like, mind you, a nigga young, bro. And I was low key like slow. But I'm just like, bro, I'm in college now. That's mistake number one. They basically saying everything all good. Didn't really do no real tests. Like I didn't get no MRIs. Like I didn't really get no tests really done on my knee to really see if it was good. The man just patted on it, tapped on it, pulled on it, pushed on it. And was like, yeah, you're good. He was like, just, just wear this little brace and you straight. All right, bet I'm good. They had this little weird rule. We couldn't work out. It was weird. I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? They had this weird rule. We had to like sit under the shoot, like watch the team work out because they say we weren't worthy enough to work out with the team. If you a lineman, you feel me? The little shit you be, you feel me? On ease with. We had to sit under that and watch them work out, which I didn't understand because like you feel me? Me in my head, I'm like these niggas said that they want me to play my first year, and I can't even work out. Like if you know me, bro, that's a problem. Like I, I'm the type. You feel me? I don't make no excuses for my circumstances, you feel me? That's exactly why I stayed and graduated. But we gonna get there. People ask why I ain't transfer soon, you feel me? I got a big loyalty problem. Even if I've been done wrong, you feel me? I gotta stick it out. When I started, I gotta finish. 
And sometimes, you feel me, you just gotta make a business decision. They tell me, yo, you, it need good. And I'm just like, all right, bet. A couple weeks later, they start having seven on seven. Like, this one, we can go against the, the guys already in college, you feel me? They start having seven on seven. It's not officially, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's not officially seven on seven, but it's like that little, we all just getting work type shit. Everybody just on the field getting work, running routes, trying to learn to play, stuff like that. They like, oh, Miles, you up. Niggas trying to test my abilities on the first rep. Corner route. Like, we ain't even start with the stick. I'll hop straight off the warm up. You got corner. I'm like, huh? All right, fuck that shit. You feel me? I ain't no bet. You feel me? I ain't no bet. As soon as I run it, uh, get open. Cook the nigga like whoever I forgot who was guarding me, bro. If you remember you watching this video, nigga, you got cooked. Boom, hit him with the hook. As soon as I broke, boom, tore it again. Like first fucking route. First thing in my head, I'm like, damn, bro, these niggas told me I was good. The trainer's on the side of the field for a I walks calmly over to the trainer, walking all slow. They called me back to the huddle. Sit down next to the trainer, like, yo, I think I tore my shit again. And he like. Hell no, nah, hell no, nah, I ain't look like you toy shit. I'm like, bro, nigga, I, I like, had to have surgery. Next thing you know, I get a repair, which is good because they they fixed it. Like, what was wrong with it? They fixed it, you feel me? And I basically missed my first year. Boom! That's already sparking doubts, you feel me? But I'm the type, like, I'm the type of nigga, like, I'm gonna stick through thick and fucking thin. Even like, I was like that in high school, bro. It was like a couple of times where I really wanted to transfer. I went to St. Francis, by the way. You feel me? It was a couple of times where I wanted to transfer, but I was just like, you feel me? I've been here, you feel me, four years. All my niggas here. You feel me? I'm a, I gotta stick it out. Like, so that's the type of mindset that I had. Like, I wanna leave, cause this is messed up, but it's like, I started something here, I gotta finish. First year, boom, that shit's gone. Go to the second year, my red shirt freshman year. I wasn't really expecting to play, you feel me? Got out that motherfucker, I was cooking, you feel me? But I, I ain't know what the fuck I was doing. I ain't know what the fuck I was doing my red shirt freshman year, you feel me? So like, I was like that bitch running, just running around. I was cooking niggas, don't get me wrong, you feel me? I was making all sorts of plays, blocking niggas to the, to the dirt, you feel me? I'm, I'm dogging niggas, you feel me? But it's like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So like, motherfucker tell me go right, I'm going left. But when I go left, I'm going left. I would say I didn't play my red shirt freshman year just simply off of me being dumb as hell. Didn't know the fucking plays. I learned some bullshit mentally and football-wise. Boom, charge that to the game. Mind you, never on scout team. My red shirt sophomore year, never been on scout team. Never touched the practice squad. Like, I ain't never been first second or third string, which should tell you something. Like, it was never no time where they was just like, yeah, Miles can't travel, he just suck. Like, he just not, he, the nigga just not good, bro. We can't bring him on because the nigga suck. Like, it was never one of those, never. I never was on scout team. Like, niggas was older than me on scout team, you feel me? I was never on scout team, never on a practice look squad, like, never, ever. Sophomore year come, go through spring ball, starting to learn the plays or whatever, starting to, Get my you feel me, get my shit together type shit. We get to going through the season, you feel me? I'm doing straight in the class. Like I was never, oh my god, Miles Ray has a four point. Like, bro, never, I was never that, but I never failed a class. You feel me? Never failed a class that time. Like that. What more can you ask for in in a nigga like me? So we get to the second year. And it's like, I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, I don't know what I could have did better. I don't know what I did wrong. You feel me? I'm making plays. I'm grading out higher than guys that's in front of me. I'm doing better in practicing guys that's in front of me. Defensive players and coaches talking about why you ain't starting, bro. Like, so this is when like shit's starting to get mental with me. Like I'm doing, like bro, I'm hiring trainers outside of school. Niggas was going to workouts. We will go study the play. Then I will go hire a trainer specific to my position, which they hated. I don't know why. You feel me? Cause I'm just looking at it as extra work, but they hated it. I ain't OD, like I wasn't doing three workouts a day, but like sometimes I double up, you feel me? On a, on a, like workout with the school, then do field work or workout with the school, then do, just do another workout. Like I was going crazy like my, my, my sophomore year. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, this gotta be year. Like I gotta turn this shit up, you feel me? I gotta turn up, like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing, bro. On God, I, I think, I swear to God, I think I got in trouble one time, bro. The way they made me seem, you would have thought like I was just late to everything. Like I'm just, fuck it, I don't even get like, I just act like I don't care. 
You feel me? I probably got in trouble one time, you feel me? We had like a little 5 a.m. run. I was just on some young shit, you feel me? Nigga got, niggas was in class, you feel me? Laughing and playing around in class. And the shit over now, you feel me? It was other niggas in the back of that class that was starting and older than us that was on the same type shit we was on, but we only got in trouble. You feel me? So I'm gonna just throw that out there. And I got the death penalty. Like, bro, I was second string going into, it was like, I think the guy, Chris Clark, was the only nigga above me, bro. Them niggas gave me the death penalty. They said, scout team, niggas. Damn, like, we got six tight ends. How I go down all of, how I go all the way to the bottom? Bro, when I tell you I never been on scout, it don't last a week. Like, damn. Nigga, fuck up once and get demolished. I, I ain't never do that shit again, but at the same time, like, you punish me, bitch. Like, it been, it's like the equivalent to a motherfucker going to jail for some shit he did, getting out, and getting beat the fuck up for the rest of the day. Like, bitch, I went to jail, my nigga. Like, what the fuck the police still beat me up for? Like, what was the punishment for? Because if y'all had just been like, oh, shit, because you did that, you gonna move you down to death. Try to like shit, fuck it. All right, that's cool. Fuck it. I don't be tripping about that, this, that 5 a.m. run shit because I'm already in shape. You feel me? Ain't shit you can do to me, like, and I don't be tripping about that move down the depth chart shit because, like, nigga, I'm not gonna stay there type shit. Like, I don't, nigga, I'm not worried about that shit. So I'm like, all right, boom. Like, damn, like, uh, I'm like, I'm the type of nigga. I'm going, t I'm going, cause I did. You feel me? I fucked up. So it's like I gotta take the consequences. But shit, like, I ain't know I was gonna get the death penalty, nigga. It's my, it's my first time. I swear to God, when you work throughout camp, like if you end up on top or second place, that's what you're supposed to be doing the season. Type shit. Like, I worked my way back to second string. You feel me? Never, never saw the field. I used to go in the coach's office, like, bro, what can I do better? Like, I, like. I'm trying to do everything I fucking can. Nigga said, you gotta be more consistent. Why are we doing grades if we ain't going off of them? Like, nigga said I didn't know the plays, but how the fuck I'm grading out 90%? Either y'all grades are flawed, like, or it's like somebody lying. I ain't never lost a damn one-on-one. -on -one. I did, I did, I ain't gonna lie. Nigga Keon Pay strapped me one time, two, nah. Yeah, he strapped me two times, but the first, the second time he strapped me and I still caught that motherfucker, you feel me? So it was like, I only lost one one-on-one -on -one the whole four years that I was fucking there. This shit getting confusing, you feel me? I'm starting to doubt myself. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, bro, and this shit still not working. So now, we get to the summer, you feel me? Me and all my, my day ones, you feel me? We just chilling, like, damn, we fucking suck. Like, like how the fuck we ain't playing? Like, we some shit. And in my head, I'm like, what the fuck else can I do? Like, does he want me to top him off or something? Junior year come. I'm like, shit, I got to turn this bitch up then. Like, I got to turn it up another notch. More trainers. More, more workouts. You feel me? I'm doing fucking yoga, nigga. I went to a tight end specialist. You feel me? My nigga tight end uh, university. Like, all right, this got to be the Like, bro, I'm going too crazy. Like, this got to be the year. We get to we get through spring ball, cooking, get through camp. And I don't got no grudges on nobody. I'm just trying to get my story out there, you feel me? So my red shirt sophomore year, they got a nigga named Chris Clark. He was the number one player in the nation. We get to my red shirt junior year. Mind you, he missed the whole camp. Like the whole entire camp. Not saying the nigga not good. He, he a great player, you feel me? But the nigga missed the whole entire camp. Like you miss a certain amount of days you ain't playing, basically. And my man Chris Clark missed the whole camp. Mind you, I'm still there grade. Like at this point, I'm grading out the highest in the room. I'm starting. You feel me? I'm starting the whole camp, five or six tight ends for real. So I'm starting over everybody, you feel me? Get through camp, you feel me? Niggas on oh my dick, like riding, like. Like, you feel me? Riding. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna actually get a chance to, you feel me? Show what I can do. Like, I'm gonna actually get a chance to play. Like, I done, I done worked every day to this point, and I'm finally gonna get what I deserve. Like, bro, a week. A week before, a week before the first game, my nigga Chris Clark come back. Damn, my nigga back. We celebrating this shit, my nigga Chris Clark back. Mind you, I love this nigga. Like it ain't no, it ain't no, cause it's not his fault. You feel me? It, it ain't no pressure. It ain't no static with my man. Like I love this. Nigga. We get through the, we get through the practice. I'm talking, I'm telling him how everything went. Like I, cause he was, he was one of the real believers in me too, and he was another nigga that told me to transfer. He was like, oh, you could develop way fast. Mind you, he been to UCLA and uh, another, another school. <laughs> He was like, bro, I swear, bro, you you could have you could have developed way faster at another another school. Like you wouldn't have had to do everything that you're doing because they'd have just had coaches that just got you to the point where you can just compete at a higher level. You feel me? So it's like you would. He was like, you would have did way better at another school. So I'm like, that was the that was kind of the second time that that transfer and shit got in my head. Like, 
he he came from even though he had, he had his problems from he came from some good like some school like so you feel me just just him saying that you feel me it's like damn then another time my, my man coach harper you feel me he was one of the reasons why i stayed you feel me he was one of the only motherfuckers that's like that believed in me just off of my knowledge you feel me i don't know what niggas said behind closed doors but he like he even still hit me up to these days to, to, like now you feel me he was one of the only ones that really believed in me for real man this week for the game we game planning you feel me i know the game plan what it will i swear to god the day before the game nigga said yeah chris starting Huh? Who? At this point, I'm on the sideline. I just remember this one moment vividly. Like, I'm on the sideline. It was the first game, you feel me? I think it was at, I forgot. I think it was at Wake Forest. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. My nigga Chris made some good plays in that game. You feel me? But I'm just thinking, like, this is this is all that was going on in my head. I'm thinking, I'm watching the game, but I'm, I'm literally in my head like, nigga, I just did all this shit. And my black ass is still on the Like my morale went to the to zero, my nigga. Like, but at this point, I'm still trying to keep high hopes. Like, I'm like, you just gotta keep working, you feel me? Eventually they gonna see, you feel me? Just keep making plays, keep working, whatever. Boom. I had moved back home, you feel me? I think it was like after the first game. It was either one morning after the first game or one morning before the first game. But basically, one morning I woke up, my mother was making some like noise. Like I was leaving. You feel me? My mother was making like this little noise for real. Basically, she was asleep, but she was like choking on her, like on her own fluids type shit. Like she ended up going to the hospital. She was straight when she woke up. It just took a long time. It took like 30 minutes. I ain't gonna lie. But she was straight when she got up. You feel me? I guess it was just her sleep and choking on whatever she was choking on. But later that day, she ended up going to the hospital and they like helped her. I forgot exactly what it was. Like I don't even want to put her business out there, but they ended up helping her. You feel me? Long story short, I had to help my mother at like, like what, like five o'clock in the morning. I called my, bro, I called the uh, the lift coach. Like, yeah, my mother just had a little emergency. We do a whoop. He like, you good, you good, bro. Like stuff happens, we understand. We do a whoop. I'm thinking everything's straight, you feel me? We supposed to be family. Like, I'm thinking everything's straight. Get to the joint. They like, all right, yeah, we understand. We do a whoop. I get there, I go in the weight room. I'm on the phone, he like, yeah, it's all good. You feel me? It's just. Me, just make your way down here. Gets there, you feel me? I, bro, they still in the warm up. I walks in, nigga tell me get out in front of the whole team. Get the fuck out! Get out! I'm like, damn! Like, right, you wasn't even on that type shit while we was on the phone. So, I mean, you feel me? I ain't make no fuss about it, you feel me? I left, you feel me? Couldn't work out that day. You know, I went and got my work on my own. Went to practice or whatever. Everything was straight. I was still second string. I was second string, you feel me? Nigga called me the, the next. No, he called me in his office at the practice. My head coach called me in his office at the practice. Like, yeah, you got six, you got five a.m.s for that shit you pulled yesterday. I'm like, coach, my mother. I didn't know what was wrong with her. Like, I wasn't just gonna leave her type shit. And he just like, he was like, you got responsibilities to like uphold. Like, you got a job to do. Basically, like, I don't give a fuck. Like I said before, I'm not the type of person that's gonna take shit to heart. And my head, I'm like, damn. But it's like, I mean, I guess he's right. Like, you feel me? Like if it, if it was the real world, they wouldn't get fucked. So like I wouldn't I wouldn't expect them to give a fuck. You feel me? So I say fuck it. I did the 5 a.m. You feel me? Did the 5 a.m. Get the practice again, and I'm on scout team. Like I I don't got no words for niggas. Like I'm just like, damn. Like niggas don't understand that my mother was choking. Like it, I'm like, all right, shit, fuck it. I guess I gotta work my fucking way back up again. Didn't play for the rest of the fucking season. We get to. We get to my red shirt senior year. I'm I'm fucked up in the head. You feel me? Like I'm fucked up. I just look so ass. But like when I would go work out with niggas, they'd be like, God dang, you so good. Like, why you not playing? It's just like, bro, you don't even know the half. Like at this point, I'm fed the fuck up. You feel me? I'm tired. Like I'm depressed as fuck. You feel me? I don't know what to do. You feel me? At this point, it's like, <clears throat> I'm gonna just leave. Cause I got two year, two more years to play. Cause I redshirted. You feel me? I'ma just leave. You feel me? Mind you, I, should, I probably should have been left. You feel me? But fuck it, I'ma just leave. Mind you, at the area joint we have an exit meeting, and I, like I said, bro, I'm not that type of nigga. That's like, you feel me? I'm not delusional. You feel me? I'm not the, I'm not the guy that's gonna be in denial. Like if a nigga say I suck, bro, I suck. Like all right, I, I was some shit on this play. You feel me? We gonna work to get better. You feel me? And I look on film and see I suck. You feel me? I'm a, I'm a putting the work to get better. You feel me? But I get in the exit meeting. Coach talking about something. Yeah, you really in 
through this year. Like, mind you, he said that every year before. Like, I'm hearing the same shit, bro. You really improved this year, you feel me? Like, bro, you really, you really progressing into a man. I really didn't know if you was gonna graduate, but you really gonna graduate, you feel me? You really improved on the football field. I really can see you taking this team far. And in my head, fuck you mean far, nigga? I'm, I'm a senior, bro. Like, fuck you mean far? This is the end. He's saying all that, woo woo woo. That shit going in one A out the other because I done heard this shit three years in a row. Finish the exit meeting, you feel me? I go to my uh, apartment. My homeboy, he was a he, a he was a quarterback and converted to a tight end, you feel me? So I get back to the crib, you feel me? He like, yo, how your exit meeting go? So I'm like, yeah, it was straight. Like, he was basically saying, like, I improved or whatever. Damn, I ain't what I, ain't what I heard. Like, why you saying like that? He like, shit, that nigga told me that. Yo ass ain't playing like when my fans came in there and told me that I really just put my head. I was like, I'm leaving. But literally the next day, I ain't waste no fucking time. I went straight in the office and was like, uh, coach. He like, hey, man. I was like, bro, like the shit is crazy, bro. Like he ain't just say. He like, hey, Miles. I'm like, cause I'm my transfer. I'm gonna find a name in the transfer report. He like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's put this in perspective. I'm like, I already got my mind made up. You feel me? Ain't too much talking you can do to. Cause nigga, it's been like, it's been four years, bro. I ain't say it like that, but like, I said, hey coach, I ain't gonna lie, my mind already made up. You feel me, it's been four years, you've been saying the same exact thing every time I came to the exit meeting. You feel me? I thought the exit meeting was for me, not you hyping my head up, but for you for you telling me the real so I can have some actual success at this school, bro. I just ain't even getting that, you feel me? <clears throat> so, I said, hey coach, I'm leaving. I don't know where this is coming from, bro. We really want you to stay here. I don't I don't understand. And I'm just like, were you experiencing the same four years that I was experiencing? Like, I don't I don't understand. And I slid.